Welcome to Aero News Channel. Like and subscribe to update news around the world. Another bombshell has hit the Obamagate scandal. Yet even more new text messages from corrupt FBI agents Peter Strzak and Lisa Page have been revealed, and the latest expose why they hated South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy and called him a dick. Apparently, having your dream job as a top-level FBI agent and serving your country isn't enough for some people these days, or at least that seems to be the case with corrupt agents Peter Strzak and Lisa Page. For these two extramarital lovebirds, the coy stares across a conference room table weren't enough. There needed to be more excitement beyond just cheap office sex and spousal betrayal. They needed to hate President Donald Trump together. But, there's more. In addition to hating President Trump, Strzak and Page evidently hated House Intelligence Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy, RSC. In fact, the two hormonally challenged federal agents hated Gowdy so much, they gave him a nickname, Dick. According to the Gateway Pundit, a fresh, or should I say dirty, batch of new text messages from Strzak and Page was released by the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee on Wednesday, February 7, 2018. The document contained 384 pages of sickening behavior, which two top-level FBI agents should never engage in. In addition to indulging in each other, unbeknownst to their spouses, Strzak and Page were enjoying an adolescent fit of name-calling as well. Trey Gowdy was reportedly one of their favorite people to hate and text messages Strzak and Page sent to each other during a committee hearing on September 12, 2017. Prove it. The Oversight Committee conducted a hearing about classifications and redactions in the FBI's investigative file on the Hillary Clinton case. Jason Hearing, Acting Assistant Director for Congressional Affairs of the FBI, was at the hearing to provide answers, while Strzak and Page sat in the background watching. In her text to Strzak, Page expressed her frustration with Chairman Gowdy for asking investigative questions and mentioned to Strzak that Herring was supposed to stick to a pre-planned script, which included only his refusal to answer the committee's questions. Gowdy is being a total dick. All investigative questions. And Jason, Herring, isn't always sticking to the script on I'm not answering that, Page wrote. Gowdy is really starting to piss me off, she previously noted. Lisa Page was not exactly setting a good example for how a lady should speak. Then again, some of the things she was doing with Strzak in his office probably weren't very ladylike either. The fact of the matter is that Strzak and Page hated Gowdy for asking investigative questions and called him a dick for being effective in pursuing the truth. Strzak and Page are the lowest of the low. They are dishonest and vile in every aspect of their lives and quite honestly, their adolescent behavior is embarrassing to me and should be embarrassing to Americans in general. These are the people who have been tasked with chasing the worst of the worst in our society, yet here they are acting like some hormonal popular kids clique with a badge and a gun. In addition to calling Trey Gowdy a dick, Strzak and Page gave other political figures unflattering nicknames as well. According to Daily Caller, the two high and mighty FBI officials investigating Hillary Clinton's illegal use of a private email server wrote that House Speaker Paul Ryan was a jerk. They also reportedly said that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell looks like a turtle. President Donald Trump took to Twitter today, calling the new text messages bombshells. And, we couldn't agree more. In fact, that's putting it mildly. And, since it seems no one was safe from this duo, I have a feeling more bombshells are to come. Peter Strzak and Lisa Page also disparaged their boss, former FBI Director James Comey, and their messages to each other as well. Jim's two blindly boy scootish, one message read. I don't really know that I agree with Comey being boy scootish since he was heavily involved in Barack Obama's political surveillance scheme and should be held accountable. As for Peter Strzak and Lisa Page, it's time for them to be read their rights and moved from their offices to jail cells. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News.